up? Rob Anderson here, Las Vegas Illusionist. We're doing street magic tonight. We got Shane and Scarlett. We're gonna show them a little bit of magic. I uh, learned to team it from North Carolina, yeah. right? Dating uh, for how long? Uh, a year and seven months. A year and seven months together. Let's talk about that. All right, a little, a little bit of magic with some of the first uh, trick we'll do, and we'll have to do with your uh, your year and seven months together. Because maybe you went on some of your first dates about a year and seven months ago. Okay, maybe Al has got to know each other. Look at that smile. Some good dates. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it's good. It's good man. It's good man. Hello. Uh, you're gonna hold hands here in a second, okay? Uh, Shane, you're gonna hold your right hand out just like this. Scarlett, your right hand is gonna go like this. I'm gonna take a card here. We'll use the nine of spades there. I'm gonna put the nine of spades into Shane's hand. Scarlett's hand will go on top, holding hands like with some of those first dates. Freeze like that. Remember those first dates holding hands? She's <laughs> smiling. Look at that. Must have been some good dates. I don't know where you took them, but good job. We we'll use the two of hearts. How fitting. Two of hearts. I think would be a better card for you two to have. Okay, I think you should have a two of hearts. It represents love. I just want you to tell me, did you feel that? Yes? Did you feel that right there? Yes? Yeah. Feel that? Oh, no. <laughs> Look what you have. Look. Hearts. Two of hearts. How fitting. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you two met, found each other, and you bonded. And that's a special thing. And I want to talk about that bond with a little bit of magic. Okay? So in a minute, we're going to need a Sharpie. I'm going to hand that to you. You're going to need that in just a minute. Three of spades will be your card for this, okay? Scarlett, could you put your name on the three of spades near the bottom right there, Scarlett? Perfect. With your name on there, we know that that is your card. There's none others like it. Even if I brought another three, we know there's none others with Scarlett's name. We're going to leave that face up. We will come back to this. We're going to get a card for you, too, as well. We'll use it. Two of hearts again. How fitting. <laughs> Random, I swear. Uh, put your name there. You go. All right. So we've got two cards with your names on it. Yours is face up in the deck. Yours is going to go face down, and I'm not going to find them. They are going to find each other in the middle of the deck, like this. I'll take that back. I want you both to reach in. Think of a happy memory that bonded you as you squeeze the deck together, just like that. Think and let go. You just made your cards find each other. Just me. I can do it. Look. If we go through and we're gonna find one card face up in the middle of the deck, it's gonna be easy to spot Scarlet's name. Okay, that's it. We left it that way. That's not magic yet. But the card right next to Scarlet's. I think it would be special if that card turned out to be the oh the two with your name on it there. How well did that work out? And that's a special card. That's a special card. Thank you. Now so these two cards are very special. Okay? We're gonna do something with these, alright? We're gonna put these together just like this. They look like one card as we talk about your bond. We're gonna bond these cards. Your memories have bonded you. Exciting, happy memories like this uh, like this trip here to Las Vegas all the way from uh, North Carolina. Exciting memories bond you. And of course, there's all those important conversations you've had over the last year and seven months that have bonded you together. Sometimes it's a little more mundane. You're sitting around trying to figure out what to watch on Netflix and still becomes part of your story, still creates your bond, and we now have two cards intertwined right here. I want you to pinch Shane's name on the top card right there and hold on to that. Shane, I want you to pinch Scarlett's name on the bottom card and hold on to that. Think together about some happy memories that have bonded you, and you can actually feel this happening right now, can't you? Yes, you can feel as I'm doing this right now. As I do that, I'm going to remove the part of this that does not matter. Leave it. Only. An impossible representation, you can let go, an impossible representation of your bond together, sealed together as a couple, permanently. I thought I would meet a couple out here, so I took some cards out of the deck. I will tell you what these are. I have queens on them, okay? I have more queens from the deck that I did something special with earlier on. I don't want you to think this is sleight of hand. Scarlet, I want you to cut these cards like I'm holding them right now with my hand. Just don't let them blow away. It's very windy. Freeze, just like that. Perfect. You're holding four queens right now. Hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. This is a two-part trick. You're going to work together, proving your compatibility. I think you'll both do great at this, okay? Uh, you're first. Two-part trick, you're first, Shane. Visualize hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Two red and two black. Visualize those and visualize and imagine if I remove one color from Scarlet's hand. Tell us all in a nice, clear voice which color do you visualize me removing, red or black? 
black. Sean, leaving all of your red cards in your hand right now. Visualize those hearts and the diamonds, the red cards, because we got rid of the black. You want to get rid of black. We're going to get rid of one more. We're either going to get rid of the heart or the diamond, leaving one in your hand. We'll keep it real easy, real simple. Which one do you want to leave in your hand? Heart or diamond? Heart. Heart over the diamond. Kind of like love over money. So we're going to get rid of that diamond and whew, gone. I'm going to take, you look nervous. I hope I can do this. <laughs> you both worked together. We got rid of some cards. We went up with the hearts. I thought you would say you wanted the hearts. That's why it's the only one that uh, took. Give me four cards. Give me five cards. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. I got the four. It were four queens there originally. Hold on. Wait, wait. I took this, though, from a totally different deck of cards. That's how sure I was that we would need that one. And I was so sure we would need that. Remember, we removed the other cards. But hold on. We had that little one that stuck around in the back there. We really did remove those other cards, though. We got rid of all the others, except the heart for you, our compatible couple. They're so well, they work so well together. They go great together. Look at that. Thank you for, me, for standing here and watching my little magic show and giving it to you tonight. Now, I just like to say, Jay, this is a gift from you to Scarlett, okay? I'm going to make a little empty gift bag here. I'd like you to take your right hand and place it down inside that little empty gift pouch I just made. That's, uh, that's empty, yeah? Okay. I want you to visualize and turn your hand up like this. Visualize a gift appearing that you'd like to give to Scarlet. You good, yes? You can actually visualize it appearing now, can't you? You can see this and feel it appearing right now. Okay, you can feel this appearing, yes? I can. And I'd like you to take that gift that just appeared and give that to her. Thank you. 